Hey guys, and welcome to another 3D Vista tutorial. Um, one of the questions from uh, the pro members from the Leap 8 group was about, in the office hours, was about um, language and changing the language. And so um, when you have, for example, this tour, you can have like the multi-language in 3D Vista uh, to have like titles and the stuff in the skin um, changing language, such as this. Uh, but what about when you have something like an image, like over here, which is baked into the 3D Vista project and you want some, yeah, uh, other image showing up. So how do you make that then uh, Dutch, for example? And not only um, just having that, but also like having that efficiently and staying, uh, having that sticky over all the panorama. So for example, I click Dutch this turns into Dutch, I go over here. This is also still Dutch, you know, so that everything stays very consistent. Um, that's the kind of stuff that we're going to go through in this tutorial, so let's get started. I just quickly imported the skin uh, from 3D Vista, replaced this with title and subtitle. Um, and inside the panoramas, you see that I named those Entrance, Venice, Paris, Sky. And in the panoramas, I have uh, something such as an image and something like a video hotspot. I know I'm looking a little angry there. Welcome to this epic first. But yeah, I'm talking English, that's the point. Let's go to publish and uh, language. And here we can uh, say uh, enable auto detection. Um, this could be nice, but in this case, what we're going to plan out for having the image and video um, hotspots replaced as well. This is not a very nice thing to have, so I'm just going to disable this and I want people to select it uh, before they enter the tour. Um, so maybe create an introduction screen with the, uh, the two buttons to like say start in English or start in Dutch, for example. And then it's set and it will not ask again. So right over here, we are going to add a language, Let's say uh, something like Netherlands from And right over here, um, I can now click here and say uh, uh, the tour description, the title. Um, then we have stuff in the skin, such as the buttons, uh, multi-line text. Um, and so the multi-line text, you can see it's really hard to read. For that, there's this button over the top left, uh, which is to make it appear in white, which is sometimes really useful. <laughs> um, so we can switch with that. Um, then we have the media, titles. So that's the, the names of all the panoramas that I uh, was just showing. And we have some actions that we can uh, change. Um, so these are the things that we can change over here. And this is quite obvious, uh, like, okay, button becomes knop. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot use top, so I don't know for what reason. So um, you have to, if you're a tap user, you have to learn how to unlearn that. So what I now do is I control A uh, or command A, control C, command C, uh, and paste it over here. Uh, views, uh, uh. So clicking in the fields, that's very important. And so, yeah, well, you can change all these things. Now, um, let's preview this. Yet, we have uh, changed these things, but we don't see anything to change the actual language. So for that, we need to trigger an action. Uh, what I would recommend is building that in the, in the skin. Um, you could create a nice introduction screen, uh, which disappears um, after entering. For that, I have another tutorial. Um, but for now, I'll just quickly import some images. So we have English. Now, um, when people click on this image, uh, let's add an action, change language, on click, make this English. 
And the same over here, uh, we're just going to copy paste this action, clicking twice on it, not too fast, but slowly. Here again, and then Netherlands. So now let's preview this and see how this is going to work. So you can see it's uh, changing the stuff. Uh, entrance still needs to be changed, so going uh, there. And now let's see um, English, Dutch. So uh, this works pretty well. You can um, do a few things here. You can say, okay, uh, this is going to be the default language. That means that it's going to move over to the left. And uh, by default, it will uh, show it up in this language, uh, especially useful when you have like multiple languages, like five or something. Uh, you might probably want to start in English or the local language that you're in. Um, I'm going to set this back to English like this. Now, with the export translation files and input translation files, that's something I haven't figured out yet. So for that, I cannot help you with yet. Um, maybe if someone knows, uh, let me know in the comments. <laughs> so um, we got this working now with the entrance uh, happening to Ingang. Uh, and this is all in Dutch, so that's all nice. But still, this image is still English. And uh, we also want that to be appearing in Dutch. Um, so let's do that. We go to panoramas, entrance, hotspots, and then we click on this image. And what we're going to do is I'm going to copy paste this. And so it's on the exact same location. I'm going to rename it so that for myself that I understand better what's happening over there. And I'm going to hide this by default because English is going to be my default language. So I want that be to be showing up um, first. Um, now, what I'm going to do, uh, just for the sake of it, I'll just do this for now so that we can see what we're doing here. I'm going to replace this with another text, which is in Dutch, like so. Um, and so this is English, Dutch. So English is going to be appearing first and then Dutch. The same thing I'm going to do with this video. Uh, I made this video in English and also in Dutch. So I'm going to copy paste this. Same thing, NL, replace the media. I'm already looking a bit more joyful there. <laughs> and also the Dutch one I'm going to disable uh, by first. And just to organize this, this feels more organized. So now we've got this. Uh, and now previewing this will not show anything different because uh, by default, I will just show up this in English yet and the English video as well. But we want to figure out a trigger to uh, show or hide all the English or Dutch uh, hotspots. In order to do that, we need to add some tags. So I'm going to add a tag English EN to the English hotspots, whether that's a video or an image. And to the Dutch ones, I'm going to say NL and NL like so. Um, so now having this, we are going to the skin. What we need to do is besides changing the language um, in to NL, we also add another action to show height all the hotspots. So on click of the Dutch image, we show everything that is Dutch NL. I'm not going to select any media because I want it to be happening over all the panoramas with the tag NL so that I don't have to worry about adding more, changing this action. I just want to set this and don't think about it anymore. Uh, so I'm just keep it as is. Um, but what it basically does right now is inside the panoramas, it will only show the NL. So um, you, you can imagine like yeah, it's going to be a bit like this. So because it's showing both NL and EN. So what we need to do is we also need to uh, hide everything that's English. So show this and hide that. So let's set this back, go to the skin, click on the hotspot, wait one or two seconds, click again, Control C, Control V, double click, 
and then on click height en and if you have uh, multiple languages like three four five then you add also the, all these other languages that need to be uh, hidden um, and that is because you want to keep the consistency when you uh, change your mind when you have like multiple flags you want it to be hiding all these others so uh, like so uh, done and now let's preview this so right over here uh, some text welcome to this epic virtual tour okay, journey talking English <laughs> now clicking Dutch the image is changed and my face as well welcome in this virtual tour and as you can hear, I'm also talking Dutch in there. So um, now that's changing. And now the nice thing about this is as soon as I go to the entrance hotspots um, and let's see, I've got something over here, like a text hotspot. I only have to add a tag to it, NL. And I have to keep in mind the consistency because this is NL. So this needs to be hidden by default because the default language is going to be English. Um, so copy paste this text. Uh, so NL, let's make this one English. Remove this EN uh, and just English. And this should be showing up by default. And so it changes, but the thing is now we want to go back to English and that's not working because we have not added these actions yet on the skin. So we only have this action and now we need to copy paste these two actions right over there, double click, uh, but now do it in reverse. So when clicking English, not show Dutch, but show English, so EN, done. And hide hotspots, not English, but NL. And all these other languages that if you have more than two. Let's preview it. And you can keep setting it back. So this is a nice uh, thing uh, to keep in mind. So thank you for watching. Uh, like the video if you haven't done already and subscribe. Um, also, if you're interested in uh, learning more about virtual tours, uh, getting connected with other professionals within the virtual tour industry, um, you might want to consider to join the Leap8 Pro community. Um, in here we have uh, events such as office hours, um, meetups, um, so office hours are happening weekly. Um, then we have meetups um, such as uh, this Friday the 24th. Um, and and, and, and basically what we want to do is, is help each other move forward and um, share the knowledge that we have um, so that we can all grow together. Well, have a great day and uh, see you in the next video.